Homelessness creeping into more neighborhoods off Washington Road. The Brynwood community has had several run-ins lately from discarded drugs to kids finding loaded guns in the creek bed. Tonight, neighbors and city leaders came together to brainstorm some solutions. News 12's Craig Allison was at that meeting tonight. So, Craig, what was the big takeaway? If you see something, say something. Doesn't get simpler than that. Representatives from the Sheriff's Office, Marshal's Office, Mayor Johnson, and more came out to poolside to get very direct directions on what the city is doing to coordinate their efforts to reduce the spread of homelessness. For the past two years, even just the past two weeks, Brynwood says it's been on a more tight watch. Found another um, firearm abandoned in the creek, and there was a toddler half dressed wandering up the street that we had to call the sheriff. We had some young boys riding their bikes over to use the pool and they were approached by another seemingly homeless man with his pants down. With the help of local leaders, it came down to clarity on who to call. The marshal's office, who engages with the homeless as a part of their job, says police reports through the sheriff's office don't help track the homeless. Calling the marshal's office or using the Augusta 311 app helps keep their database up to date. From there, the Salvation Army also chimed in. They say both homeless groups and the homeless should be sent to their Center of Hope downtown for access to resources. They say they have already helped transition 74 people into homes last year and 100 this year. Sean Frantum says it's time to ramp up a panhandling ordinance like Columbia County's. It's not safe. We could have serious issues. Um, and it, it, there's a safety issue to the community where uh, people don't want to be hounded for money uh, in, in this area or in the entire Richmond County. And the Salvation Army is encouraging you, instead of money or food, that will only help for a short time. If you see someone in need who is homeless, you give them one of these cards. It's a free bus pass to the Center of Hope downtown so they can connect them with resources. Another card they give out so that some can get to the Salvation Army. And you can pick those up at the Salvation Army if you want to have them handy, if you see someone in need, so you have them to give out. But a neighborhood facing some really serious problems serious there. Serious issues with the kids who, you know, play behind that yeah. pool. There's a creek that runs back there. so A lot of people will yeah. be concerned about that. Craig, thanks for the update there from our newsroom.